Hey guys and welcome back to All About the Popcorn. I'm Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then consider hitting that subscribe button. It truly does help the channel out. So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest film, Sweet Girl. <laughs> is Netflix's newest action dramatic thriller that I personally would say it's more on the dramatic thrilling side of the scale over the action side of the scale. Unlike Netflix's other action movies like Extraction, The Old Guard, or Six Underground, we don't get like these big major explosions or these like over dramatic car sequences that are like really awesome but can also be over the top in some cases. We don't get into that here. It's a very low-key type of thriller. No, well, yeah. See, I couldn't even say action there. In Sweet Girl, we are following Cooper, who is played by Jason Momoa, and his uh, teenage daughter, Rachel, who is played by Isabel Merced. For sure, I'm watching both of their names. <laughs> um, but you may know her as Dora from Dora the Explorer. Maybe or maybe not. I don't know. It's a cute little film that came out a couple years ago. So after the tragic death of Cooper's wife, he is now seeking revenge on the pharmaceutical company that pulled the possible life-saving cancer treatment off of the market. So it's one of those revenge stories, man versus big uh, corporate company. But sadly, unlike other movies that are the same like this sweet girl doesn't really bring anything new to this type of genre this movie i think could have definitely worked a little bit better like in the 90s or early 2000s so this is going to be a spoiler free review as per usual i usually i think tend to maybe give you one spoiler you know usually not really a relevant spoiler so here goes my kind of non-relevant spoiler so going in i was honestly expecting so much more from rachel because early on we do get these two scenes of her uh, doing some training a little bit of a little bit of boxing so i'm like okay she's gonna be pretty badass especially at that second scene she is a little bit more rough uh when it does come to the training so i'm like okay this could be good we're, we're, we're she's good she's gonna be useful her and her dad up against the pharmaceutical company they're probably gonna do a little bit of recon because we do see her early on with the camera that's pretty much the only time we see her with the camera so she was pretty useless in the movie i'm just like really like mm. No, I need you to be doing something. I know and I understand you're basically being dragged along um, on the run with your father. And then we do get to this big like twist reveal that I was just like, wait, what? I did not see that twist coming at all, you guys. At all. Like I literally was trying to think back to the movie and I'm just like, wait a minute like clues and I really couldn't think of any if you've seen the movie let me know down below did you catch this twist before it came on they could have honestly done so much more with the pharmaceutical aspect of things just dove a little bit more into the corruption of that oh my god you guys I've been having such a hard time with this co-operative corporate there was another one I can't remember what it was um corporate cooperative Co cooperation lord they could have done so much more and they really don't and the movie i just i don't really think it knows what it wants to be like i said it starts off like as a revenge tale man versus this big <laughs> let's say cooperative corporate company but then it's like we take a turn somewhere around the middle somewhere i don't even know really and it becomes political there's also like way too many villains <laughs> happening here they really do set it up with this is a villain but then it's like no we're killing you up and then it's like there's another villain we're setting up but then it's like no you're really also not the villain and then i think we get a third villain no i think the third one was an assassin because there's also an assassin and then we get like the big main villain i don't know there's just like too much going on and i'm just like there's no. The musical choices here also, I wasn't really here for it. There's actually this chase scene and the score that they decided to go with, I was just like, it really was throwing me out of the story because of the music. I'm just like, oh my god, that's terrible. I just wasn't really here for it. The FBI also was useless like Rachel 
And then like Rachel doesn't really redeem themselves. They're kind of just there. And I understand that it's not really from the point of view of the police officers or the law generally. And this is from the father-daughter duel over here. But I wish when we did get their scenes that they were more useful and there was more to them but these are pretty much my overall thoughts on sweet girl uh, before i do give you my score if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet it does really help the channel out of course don't forget to hit the notification bell i do have a couple more reviews coming to you this weekend so hit that bell so you don't miss a beat so the twist thing in the third act did bump up the score just a tad because I was like we're gonna we're gonna get something good but unfortunately it didn't so it knocked it right back down and I'm gonna be giving sweet girl a small popcorn if you are in the mood for a revenge father-daughter duel tell with a few action scenes a whole bunch of villains an assassin and a pretty good twist there in the third act then sweet girl is for you if you've seen sweet girl let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you are you planning on checking it out or are you gonna pass on it that is it for me today guys until next time i'll see you guys at concessions Bye.